Hey, this is Malcolm Andreation, and this is an overview of a script I created to speed up assigning materials in Maya. Okay, so using the Hypershade in later versions of Maya, I think after 2015, uh, it has a lot of performance problems, I find. It, it runs really slow, takes a fair amount of time to open, and just the general workflow uh, is a little bit clunky anyways. If you have multiple materials in your scene, I find it pretty tedious to actually open up the Hypershade and uh, search for those materials, find them, and then apply them to other objects. So at one point in my career, uh, I had the opportunity to work in 3D Studio Max. And uh, one of the things that I liked about using Max uh, was they had this eyedropper tool, uh, which could grab a material off one object and apply it to another. So I created a small script uh, to try and copy that workflow into Maya. So basically what I'm trying to avoid here is having to go into window uh, rendering editors and then open up the Hypershade. You'd probably have this on a second monitor, uh, but for the video, I have to have it in one. Um, and then let's say you have multiple materials. So when you've got to have this window open, uh, which slows down the performance in Maya, and then you've got to, you know, whatever, select your faces and then actually right click here and say assign material to selection. Uh, or you've got to um, middlemost drag it over to the selection. Um, and then if you want to then so you've closed that down and then you want to like assign that material to another uh, piece of the model uh, or assign it to a new object that you've just created. Like let's say I'm doing some modeling and uh, when I'm doing uh, sub D modeling, I like to have a blend shader assigned so I can see uh, the, the details uh, more easily compared to the Lambert, which is the default. So let's say I just, I need to model another part of this model and I create like a brand new cube and uh, I press two to switch it into sub D uh, and it looks all flat because it doesn't have my blin on it. It's just got the default material uh, that's assigned to it. And so what I would have to do is I would have to go into uh, rendering editors and uh, open up the Hypershade and then find the material that's assigned to this. And I can do that a couple of ways. I can look for it if I've named it uh, nicely, or I can select the model and I can press uh, this button here, the graph materials button and it'll show me what's applied to my whole model. So in this case, I have the red material, the red blend, and I have my default gray, and then I can go back to this model here and assign that, and then great, I did all of that work, and all I got out of it was I just assigned a basic material. So I thought there must be like a faster way to do this since I kind of do this like all the time. Uh, and so uh, I'll show you the, the little uh, script that I created uh, to kind of optimize this workflow. So what the script does is uh, basically it, if you click uh, this button here, the copy button, it stores the, the selected face, the material that's assigned to the selected face into uh, this button basically. And then if you select any component or object or multiple objects or multiple components after that, and then double click the button, it will apply that material. Uh, so I'll just show you how that's gonna work in terms of the the blend workflow that we just did. So let's say I'm modeling away, I create the cube and it's got the default Lambert on it. And without opening the Hypershade, all I need to do is select any face here, hit this button once, click there once, and that stores it. And then just go back to this guy and then just double click the same button. And then boom, you've got your material applied. You didn't have to open up the Hypershade. You don't even need to know what materials are assigned to this object. You can do it all visually, which I find a lot more intuitive. So for example, Let's uh, let's just go and now let's do the red one. Uh, so select that guy, copy that selected component, and then just do a double click. And then boom, you've got the red one on it. And like I said, this works, the copying works on a single component selection. So you need to select just one face. So let's say I want the gray blend, copy it. And then pasting it, you can paste onto multiple uh, things or a selection of things. So let's say I only want the gray on this face, then just do a double click. But now the cool thing is that blend is currently stored in memory until you close Maya down or until you copy a new material. So even when you make a new object, let's say we make another object here, whoops, um, I don't need to go back and recopy that because it's still in memory. So I can just double click and boom, I'm always going to get that object. So here I'll, 
do it with the red one because that might make it a bit more obvious. So I copy it and it's stuck in memory until I copy something new. Double click, I get the red. Double click, I get the red. Grab some faces. Double click. Oh, it's slowing down because uh, because of the sub D, and then I get the red. So any new object that I can create from that point on, I can just keep double clicking to paste the last material that I've stored into memory. As usual, if you're interested in downloading the script, I'll put the link in the description. And thanks for watching, and have a good day.